are finally down to the last comparison video with the new Carmex lip balm in Orange Dream. Um, again, this is that one versus the Ballistex Orange Mango Blast. So let's get started. These are actually pretty similar products now that I've looked at them side by side before starting this. But um, yeah, format wise, they're both sticks. Packaging wise, they're both pretty basic. I mean, it's. This one's got a clear plastic tube, orange cap, it's got the label on it, a weird band-aid label. <laughs> um, it's just got the simple little decal, or not decal, but the picture on it, icon, I don't know. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I had to babysit again today. And the Blistex one is in an orange pearlescent tube. Um, this is not such great packaging. Actually, I think this one may also have that too where you can peel it up for more drug info, and I'm like, ha, ah, no, I learned my lesson on this Blistex, and you see what a mess it's made out of it to where it just does not stay down. Yeah, no. So anyway, just orange tube with a green label, very small picture on it, and I guess if you want to peel it, it's got the drug info there. So there's that. In terms of natural or organic, this is completely synthetic. And this one's my weird hybrid lip balm that's like half and half. So I don't know which category to place it under, so I just say it's a hybrid. Um, in terms of limited edition or not, neither one of these are. These are both things you can find just whenever and probably wherever. Well, I don't know about this one for sure, but this you can find in literally any drugstore. Uh, the amount of product you get in both is exactly the same, because on this, where does it say it? it should be 0.15 ounces. Yep, yeah, right there. And we've established that this one also is that. Shelf life on them! This guy expires in October this year, and this one expires in June of 2018. So, price point-wise, they were pretty close. I actually think this one was a tiny bit cheaper. But, ultimately, they were pretty darn close. Um, in terms of sturdiness and durability, I think this one, the actual packaging packaging is sturdier, but obviously not this label. That label is just crap. Uh, whereas this one, there's a little bit of give on the cap, but it's otherwise really sturdy. No complaints. Special features, they actually both have SPF 15 in them, uh, but other than that, oh, actually, fuck, I'm gonna peel it. I shouldn't. Yeah, so this one actually does have some medication in it. It's, in addition to the two sunscreens, it's also got dimethicone 1%, so th there is that, just as a thing to point out. It does have a little bit, whereas this is just the sunscreen in that one. Scent-wise, this one smells exactly like an orange creamsicle, whereas this one, it actually lives up to its name. And you can smell the mango in there, actually more so than the orange, but you can smell the orange too. Um, and color-wise, they both go on clear, even though this one has orangey wax, this one's just white. Flavor-wise, the Blistex has a little bit of a sweet flavor, whereas the Carmex has no flavor. Consistency-wise, the Carmex is basically petroleum jelly and is super thick, whereas the Blistex is kind of medium consistency thickness, but is more standard lip balm consistency. It just feels like, you know, standard run-of-the-mill lip balm, chapstick, what have you. It just feels like a regular... I'm gonna write home about lip balm. I mean, it's very moisturizing, it's very smooth and all, but I mean, it's nothing really out of the ordinary, especially when compared with the unique texture of this Carmex. Yeah, it's, it's very ordinary. In terms of moisturization, I've actually had very good luck with this Blistex Working Wonders, so I think this one does a better job. Shine factor, I think the Carmex is shinier. Uh, Longevity-wise, I think the Blistex lasts longer, if I remember right. Um, and with the drink test, it holds up somewhat, but not entirely, and the Carmex just doesn't. So between these two, I'm gonna go with the Blistex, because I actually really like this one. Even though I'm not that big on orange flavors, I'm 
<laughs> Admittedly, not even that big on mango flavors. Ironically, given how frigging many mango products I have, I am actually not really a mango fan. That is the true irony of all the mango shit that I've got. Like, I thought it was just, like, a really rare flavor to run across in lip balm, ironically. So I, like, grabbed all the ones I could find because I figured this was going to be, like, a weird little kitschy thing. And then I found out there's apparently, like, a zillion mango products out there. And now I'm stuck with all this shit of a flavor I'm not even that wild on. Good job, Jen. Good job. But at least in this one, it's a much more tolerable version of the scent to where I actually kind of like this one. Whereas a lot of them, I'm like, oh, that's, that's cool. I can, I guess I'll maybe use it sometime, sometime never. But <laughs> no, I, I do occasionally, but I like will not go out of my way specifically for it unless it's like a comparison day and it happens to be one of the comparisons, so... Yeah, that is a thing, but, um, yeah, for this particular comparison round, that one actually does win, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be this one until I reminded myself of what the ballistic smelled like and felt like. I was like, actually, you know, it's an oldie but goodie, and I actually did manage to, like, use quite a bit down for me anyway into that stick so that's more than I think I've used of any other mango scented product that's so sad I'm pathetic I know such a waste but anyway so about all I have to say on this so as usual if you liked the video click the like button if you're not already and you'd like to be click subscribe leave comments down below do you have either of these do you have both of these which one do you like better and why leave it below in the comments as well as anything else you feel like leaving me and tell me what you'd like to see me review the most next and until next time bye